I have to make an apology, a formal apology on the podcast. Um, yeah, you do. Always a bad move, but all right. I apologize in advance. Uh, we say Marty Scorsese as a bit on this show. A bit and, of correct information. Yeah. Well, uh, you don't have to address these allegations. It's a comedy joke. Uh, it is incorrect. And I must now pronounce Marty Scorsese's actual name correctly. All yeah, right. I mean, to get back on the side of Film Talk Bros. So, uh, for example, if we're talking about, you know, Taxi Driver, I would say, well, it's Taxi Driver directed by Marty Scorsese. You know what I mean? Uh, there you go. I, I don't know. You kind of trailed off at the end like you said it that, sounded more italian though well yeah i'm trying to, to say it in his italian you're trying you know, to say it correctly yes his exactly name correctly exactly so taxi driver is just taxi driver yeah directed by directed by these guys okay you know that doesn't feel right okay here's what i heard like here's what i think is the correct pronunciation okay, okay. It, it'd be like <clears throat> the departed Directed by Marty Scanzis. That was even more correct than yours. Yeah. So. That is that okay. All right. Well, I don't think that was correct. It's a uh, Alex. Can you maybe explain it to him? Yeah, I'll do like a more Italian one. It's okay. like uh, the Last Temptation of the Count of Monte Cristo by Marty Scanzis. Okay. Is that Jared Leto <laughs> in House of Gucci? Because you're nailing it. Yeah. Okay. Which was directed by Marty Scanzis. No, it's Marty Scanzis. Marty Scanzis. Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family. Tired of jerking off alone? <laughs> This week on There Are Too Many Movies, <laughs> we watched Crimes of the Future. Before we talk about Crimes of the Future, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris <laughs> Collins. I'm Josh the Josh Rodriguez. And I'm Alex the Body Wilson. And I'm no, you're cr- not. Okay. I am, though. You're not the body, dude. And you're also not the strongest, and I would really appreciate you stopping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Arm wrestle right now. Do you want it? Let's- <laughs> Do you want it? You know what? I'm actually scared of arm wrestling because I saw a video of, of two drunk guys doing it and they both broke their arms. Yeah, I'm we'll good see. on that. <laughs> well, see, you don't have the ability to do that. You don't have, I don't think you have the ability to break bones, Alex. Are you telling me that I'm indestructible, <laughs> which I agree with? <laughs> God. Anyways, I'm also the tallest. Not, no, and not the true. youngest. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's probably true. You are a young little yeah. bitch. You were late to the egg, you fucking late bitch. You were late to the egg. You're late to the egg. Yeah, oh. we, we beat you to consciousness is what I'm saying. Sorry your dad came first. Yeah. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Simple fact. let's talk about movies, shall we? I guess so. so you don't want to talk about your dad? No, right. let's move right along. Uh, Does your dad watch this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe sometimes. Probably wouldn't like how much you're talking about it. Kind of. Watch list time. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what have you been also, watching? Also, I'm I'm the Josh again. I, Moving I, forward, <laughs> Josh the Josh. You could, I mean, as friends, you could just call me the Josh. That's oh, fine. you want us to call you the Josh? So instead of Josh Rodriguez. So when I'm like, when Josh. I see you far away down the street, I should go, "Hey, the Josh." Yes. No, it should actually more be like, "Oh shit, it's the Josh." Oh right, right. So exactly. when you see me, you should be like, "Oh my god, it's the body." It's it's the body, no, Wilson. Because that's not your fucking name. It dude. is. It is though. It's not your name. People don't Do call I need you to that. Bring my birth certificate. People call you me the lying j- sack of dog shit. People call me the Josh. To be fair, but go ahead. Yeah. Uh, anyways, you're a fucking twig, and we're moving along. Uh, <laughs> First of all, you have a second podcast called Just Joshin with Josh Rodriguez. <laughs> so don't even give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Just joshing with the Josh. Yeah. And the thumbnail is like this. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a red circle on your face. Yeah. Yeah, it's just shrugging. And just a YouTube thumbnail of a person. Yep. You ever meet those people out in the wild? Uh, yeah, dude, they suck. Fuck. Kind ever been to a GameStop midnight release pre-2015? Fucking. Fucking cringe. They got cat ear headphones, <laughs> dude. Uh. Fuck. You know all about those cat ear headphones, though. I bet you do. You know what? I have gaming headphones, and I'm too scared to wear them in case there's an intruder. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. All right, watch list. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Do you want me to kick it off? If you want to, is that a yes? That's, bore That's very right assumptive of you, dude. Okay. Presumptuous. I it was presumptuous. Just, just a question. 
I won't kick it off then. Fine. Somebody else kick it off. Alex, you kick it off. I'm gonna I, kick I prefer it, not I'm to. I'm going to kick it off, Thank actually. You. All right. Uh, Spiderhead on Netflix. Starring. Um, Interesting, because we talked about doing it for the show, but you went ahead and watched yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Also, it's starring Miles Teller. We're going to do it for that the show. That doesn't upset me at all. No. We're not doing it for the show. That doesn't upset me at all. Yeah, okay. we did talk about it. <laughs> We mentioned it maybe, but it you was said a, I really you, want to do this. But you took it upon yourself to go ahead and watch it way early. Yeah, we're not doing it for the show. Ah, oh, weird. We're not doing it. What are we doing next week? You want to say? You want to spoil? No, I can't remember. Okay. what are we doing? Not Spiderhead. I'll say that. Is it all right? So then, what's the fucking issue? Spiderhead would be the following week, Chris. So three weeks after its release, yeah, that's real topical. And yeah, timely. like the movie we're doing today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Whatever. We had a live show. Hey, thanks for coming to the live show. If you did, thanks for listening to the live show. If you did as well. So four of you. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> all four of you. Hey, it was cool. It was no, fun. It was more than yeah. that. It was more than that. And but there were like a handful of our listeners there, which is cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Um, what'd you watch? Spiderhead. Can I talk about Spiderhead? Would you rather I know, s- you didn't. spoil my whole so watch list? Fuck up our whole show. Yeah. Okay. Go oh. ahead. No, I won't. Fuck up the whole show. This is like Operation Valkyrie, but for the podcast. So yeah. starring Chris Hemsworth. Yep. Miles Teller. Oh, did you watch it? No, didn't because we were going to do it for the show. But go ahead. How was it? The Ginger Dead Man. I watched that in the no. Discord. How was Spiderhead? Dude? I didn't like it. It was fine. Solid, watchable, nothing to write home about. Why Miles, is it called Spiderhead? It's that's where it takes place. It, and a it, spider's head? Shut the fuck up. Well, it's called that. It's just the name of the facility they did it. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. So should we not do it for the show, you think? It was a fine movie. It wasn't like it, I don't think there's much to talk about as far as like an episode about it. Oh, okay, never mind then. I like how you went from triggered as fuck, triggered F, to, oh, you know what? I'm glad you you got a head start on that. It's probably a good thing that you watched yeah. it. Yeah, it was a good thing. It's a good thing that you watched it. In the long it run, it's yeah. like yeah. better for yeah. the show. I will say, Chris, you could have said that though. You could have just told us, hey, I watched Spiderhead, and this is what I, I thought. You know, I could have gotten to it. I could have. You're absolutely right. Yeah, but you if just there weren't for didn't. two rude yeah. ass motherfuckers in this room who because Josh what tried talking mean? and you punched him in the fucking face and puked on his lap. Okay. <laughs> Spiderhead is fine. It's on Netflix. It's a thriller about uh, prescription guy experimenting with prescription drugs. I'm Go sorry. On. Go ahead. Yeah. Did you know it was directed by the same guy who directed Top Gun Maverick? Is that why Miles Teller's in it? Oh yeah. my god! Thank you so much for bringing that up. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, of course. It had yeah. It's, I, I have lots of movie knowledge. And what's his name? I don't know. So right after you said I have lots of movie knowledge, <laughs> and I asked you what the director of Top I told Gun you Ma- two stars of the movie already, dude. Huh? That's way. That's more than good enough. Exactly. Yeah. I'm Maybe on some factoids. Side. Whatever. It's just it was a, filmed during the pandemic. Sure was. They spent a lot of money on it. Yeah. It was an okay movie. That was a good fun fact that they spent a lot of money on the movie. Hey, guys, movies are expensive. <laughs> Thank you for listening to There Are Too Many Movies. Did you guys know movies are expensive? Yeah, they cost like $20 they for cost 4K. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's like millions of dollars. Anyways. There's a little flap on my microphone. It's really bothering wondering me. Wondering who the fuck asked and why it's relevant. Well, it's like the clip for my mic. So it's like... <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> So shout out to our Discord. We watched The Ginger Dead Man. How was that? Starring Gary Busey. Gary Bussey. Uh, Gary Bussey. Nice. I actually saw this when it premiered on the Sci-Fi Network like oh, 10 years fuck. ago. Hell yeah. It, Thoughts? Uh, masterpiece, yeah, obviously. It's great. Uh, I like how like in the first literally 10 seconds, someone is shot in the head. A, wo- <laughs> a woman is shot in the head by Gary Busey in, in 10 seconds. Jesus. And then he gets like summoned into a pastry. Yeah. Oh, he himself is the ginger dead yeah. man? Yeah. He gets Fuck. He goes on a killing spree at the beginning of the movie. He gets sentenced to death, cremated, and then some shadowy figure drops off like the secret spice to a bakery, and it was just his ashes. Oh man. And so they dump ashes into like ginger bread, and he just sums up and he's like, Well, I'm not the Pillsbury fucking doy boy. Like uh, that's, that's the origin story of Gary Bussy. Yeah. It's like an evil how high. I fucking love that movie, dude. Smart movie. Smart movie. Smart movie. Anyways, Ginger Dead Starring Man. Starring Method Man and uh, Red, Red Man. Man. 
Five bucks a month on Patreon will get you access to the Discord. Also, one dollar a month on Patreon will get you access to the Discord. But five dollars will get you a bonus episode once a month. Um, come hang out in the Discord, and you get to, you know, basically watch shitty movies with us yeah. and talk movies. And hundred dollars a month gets you a cake fart video from all three of us. Just you, but I'll bake the cake. All right. No, you won't. I don't oh. want a cake bake by you. I feel like it. Do you was... have any baking utensils, Chris? Yeah. Do you no. know a goddamn thing about baking? Does it matter? You're gonna fart on it. You know those yellow cakes that you buy in a box? You don't even have to add the egg. They made that an extra step for housewives that feel useless. Cool, man. Um, <laughs> Fact. One more thing. Actually, I've got like fucking four more things. I don't know what, what to talk about. I'll do I'll do Eastern Promises <clears throat> because... Ooh, it is, it is Director of the Month, Daddy Cronenberg. Yeah, our Director of this month. Uh, yeah. Da- what? Daddy Cronies. All right. David Cronenberg. Yeah. David Cronies. I just thought you were trailing off for a second there, so I just... Nope. <laughs> nope, that wasn't... Eastern Promises. Starring the hardest character of all time, dude. Yeah, that's... That movie is the least Cronenberg feeling movie out of his... Uh, like, so far, my favorite roster. Cronenberg movie. I will say it's my favorite as well. I haven't seen it. What's it about? It's basically a Russian mob movie. Badass. It's hard to... De- I it's mean, hard scary, to s- but badass. Starring our boy, Vigo. <clears throat> oh, shit. It's All hard right. as shit. All and right. Naomi Watts, right? Yes. Cool. Naomi Watts, but yeah. It's Naomi. It's n- Naomi, for sure. Alexa, how do you say Naomi Watts? I pronounce that Naomi Watts, oh, but I'm always working oh, on Oh, bullshit. How I say you added I that before right. this. Oh, yeah, because I anticipated this whole conversation. You I... intentionally said it wrong, knowing we would correct you. Okay. It's Naomi Watts. It's That's Naomi. fine. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Alexa, how do you say Naomi Watts? I pronounce that Naomi Watts. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, interesting. On how I say things, and I might not have it right. Lying sack. She might not have it right. See? It's a might. But you might not have it right either. And as like we've we've established on this show that we can definitely pronounce everyone's name correctly. Though. Right. Yes. So exactly. we're good on that. It's a callback. It's a Naomi Watts. Way to go. A Naomi Watts. Let's go. A Naomi. <laughs> so starting Viggy Mortys and Naomi Watts, Easty Promies was really good. Nice. Yeah. It's, very I, good. it's like a very, it's definitely four three. He's hard as shit. He's like the hardest character imaginable. And like it makes you want to smoke cigarettes. Yep. I don't smoke cigarettes. But Classic wanna, Mad Men feels. But like the get, way he like puts it in his ear and shit while it's still lit. Ugh. I'm just like, he's fucking hard as shit, man. Jesus. But puts like, it out on his tongue. Puts it out on his tongue. All right, that's just too much. But it's like, okay, this is like... He just lives that way. Yeah, it's yeah. just hard as shit. It's just his life. Just hard. He's just disposing of a body, putting cigarettes out on his tongue and shit. It's just like... Just getting evidence everywhere. Yeah. Dude, check it out. Russian mob Sounds movie. Sounds good, yeah. Yep. Eastern Promises goes super hard. <clears throat> um, last thing I'll talk about is I finished the masterpiece Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It's done? Uh, the Hulu one. The season is over. The finale was Tristan cheating on uh, her again. Oh, I just kind of spoiled that, huh? But I mean, if you follow any culture, like it happened like a year ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the only culture. I can't spoil the Kardashians. Yeah, they write the culture. Yeah, they're the, the life. Yeah. yeah, it's just that's just lives. Yeah, so Better how was us. it, Chris? Do you like it? Um, you know, it's exactly what it is. It's reality TV garbage fun time. Summer fun. Did you enjoy yourself? Actually, yeah, it was pretty solid. Pretty solid show. Good who's editing. Your, who's your favorite character? Uh, the Kardashian. Mm. Is there like a that training you, arc? And I've been keeping up with all of battle. them. So Robert, then Robert Kardashian. Wasn't that the dad? Isn't that's the sun? There's a sun. All right, never mind. There's all there's hmm. the brother. Is OJ in it? No, I feel like that would be a good mech, like a good match. If they you introduced so? him in season two, holy shit, <clears throat> that would be sick. Anyways, check out Keeping Up the Chloe's Real Dad. Look it up on Hulu. Chloe's Real Dad. Uh, that's all I got. Hmm. That's all you've got? Yeah, man. That's all I got. Oh, here comes the... That's all you got. You only did this many things because it's about quantity. You're running out of bits, man. It's not a bit. I'm okay. Su- I'm surprised at how little let's, of let's, a cinephile you are. Okay. Let's let's have your list next. Shit sandwich time. Let's put you right in the middle of a decent watch list. I rewatched an absolute classic. And if you disagree that this is a classic, I'm going to have you killed. That's really aggressive, but go ahead. Dumb and Dumber. 
Uh, it is a classic. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's really good. You immediately good. cede to my point because I'm correct. Yeah, it's a fucking masterpiece. Sure. It really is a masterpiece in comedy. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. What is your favorite Jim Carrey comedy? It might be me, myself, and Irene. Really? Oh, man, that's so underrated. I fucking love that yes. movie. Yes. Um, I don't think I've seen that in like 10 years. Dude. Holy fuck, that's good. Can you fucking really pick one? I mean, Dumb and Dumber's got to be up there, or The Mask, or... Yeah. Yeah, one of those two. Dumb and Dumber. It's either Dumb and Dumber or me, myself. Have you seen mm-hmm. Fun with Dick and Jane? Yes. That is that shit is so fucking, fucking good. It's been a long time. The Same. fucking cut whenever uh what's his name? Jeff Garland. Jeff Garland has the 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 bark collar on. Yeah. Ah, then it cuts. Oh god, yeah. dude. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Classic. I would I would still say Dumb and Dumber though. Dumb and Dumber solid. It's I, so fucking good. I was about halfway through watching that when I uh Christina was on the couch watching it with me or she was like playing Sims or something and I was like isn't this such a great movie and she was like I haven't seen it. And I was like what? And I immediately restarted it and forced her to watch it. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> and uh, it's crucial. It's essential viewing for a human being. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm hey glad guys. I forced her to watch it. Big, Big gulps, gulps, huh? All well, right. Well, see you later. It's a classic. That part is so much better than the impressions people do of it because he gives it a second before he's like, well, see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Like he makes it seem like he's really going to chill there for a second. Like literally like Like, nodding (laughs) his head. It's fucking great. Um, Watch that if you haven't. If you haven't seen it, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Shout out to the Fairly Brothers. Um, I'm continuing The Boys. Uh, Episode six just aired with hero gasm and it is i think maybe the best episode so far fuck it was of really the good. show yeah. or the season of the show i think damn it was really good it was really good wow i'm also caught up as well it's a lot of fun very good way more violent than you fucking brutal as shit yeah i love the disclaimer they had in the latest one yeah where it was like it wasn't like a serious disclaimer it was like hey everybody's not fine for anybody right huh? yeah it's not suitable for anyone. Yeah, it's like this isn't suitable for anyone. Everything's consensual. This costs a hilarious amount of money, like in CG to pull off or something. Yeah. Like that. it was just like, and it's good CG too. <clears throat> yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um, watch the boys. It's great. And finally, I have Iron Chef Netflix. Ooh, the quest for an Iron Legend. So there's a new Iron Chef s- exclusively on Netflix. Yes, interesting. Which Hosted is weird. by Alton Brown. Fucking yeah, baby. God, Alton Brown. Hey, let's go. I fucking love Alton Brown. He's dude. great. Cinema 4-3 food host of all time. I yeah. like that he went from such a nerd to absolute daddy, essentially. He's daddy. Yeah. And a food scientist. Yeah. Not even a fucking chef, dude. He's just a scientist. Just smart as shit. He's the Bill Nye of fucking cuisine, yeah. bro. Is he a chef or just a host? He just I just said, said he's a fucking food scientist and not a chef. You dumb bitch. Okay, my bad. Well, I mean this. Totally, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't listening. I mean this totally respectfully. Do you have shit in your ears? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean this totally respectfully. Shit comes out of both your mouth constantly, so most of the time I'm just like, mm. so that's a okay. Yes. So you have shit for brains, is uh, what you're saying? Because of you, yes. Oh, okay, all right. Well. Shit in my ears and shit for brains because you guys just say bullshit. So mm. you're just an all around shithead. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a shitty witty boy. Anyways, how's the fucking chef show? Um, it's great. It's a sort of a different the format. chef show. That's a different show yeah. on Netflix. How dare Holy you fuck. disparage? Iron Chef, the goat of competitive. You're right. It's shows. not confusing at all when they're called Master Chef, Iron Chef, The Chef Show, Chefy Boys, Chef Boyardees. How you are? I'm gonna fu- I'm gonna beat the shit out. Of <laughs> okay, Mr. <laughs> Strongman. I'm the strongest here. Whatever, dude. And the tallest. Can you get through your fucking watch list, Iron Chef? How is it? It's great. Uh, there are. Different Iron Chefs in this iteration of it. Um, there is honestly, I'd only ever heard of like two of them, or mm. I guess three, but like I, they're just not as big name as like the old ones, like uh, Bobby Flay, Morimoto, fucking Cat Cora, right? All those classics. Um, Nina Hartley, right? Gianna Michaels, um, who? Uh, an iron chef the chefs famous iron chef yeah Yeah. okay got it um it's good stuff though you just gotta watch it okay it's on netflix yeah cool anything else nope 
So shout out Nina Hartley. So that's it. That's all you got on your watch yeah, list. Yeah, I had a movie that's confirmed by both of you to be a classic. I like how the point he 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 establishes that because we agree it's a classic, we've agreed it's a better list. Also, I mean, good, well but, done. So. Do you not agree? No, no, no. That no. Dumb and well Dumb done. is a classic. Well done. So you don't agree. <laughs> no, no. Well, well done. Yeah, you did it. So you agree, though. We agree it's a classic. And we also established that you're a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Anyways, all right, Josh, what's really on your watch good. list? All right, uh, Nocturnal Animals. Fuck yeah. yeah. Directed by Thomas Ford, BB. The fashion designer. The fashion designer, Tom Ford, directed by. Um, it also has Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams, Jake Gillies, Jake yeah, Gillies, Gillies, Isla Fisher, uh, fucking Michael AT- Shannon, ATJ, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Dude, he's so good in it too. Daddy, dude. ATJ is daddy. Did you see that he's going to be Craven the Hunter in a standalone Craven the Hunter movie? Yeah, we've talked about this. Oh, have we? Yeah. I guess yeah. I just wasn't listening because you're just so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Great, man. Speaking of boring, why don't you bring up that fact we already talked about? You can go ahead for the third time. You're welcome, listeners. For te- I'm teaching you something new. Yeah, but they may not have listened to this episode, Chris, or yeah. that episode. Not everyone listens religiously. Immediately on his episode. side. Okay. What do you mean, dude? I'm defending our friend. Yeah, you piece of shit. And completely disparaging your other... What do you mean? Not Shit for brains? Totally what are you talking about? Discounting, I would say. You dumb bitch. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Fuck you, sorry dude. Sorry for interrupting. It, don't, don't talk to my friend that way. I don't mean to be rude. Again, no disrespect. Yeah, yeah, all, no. all due respect. Yeah, of course. If you interrupt again, <laughs> I'm going to fucking beat your kneecaps in. <laughs> Josh. Nocturnal not- Animals is fucking 4-3 is shit, dude. One of the best... Uh, thrillers fucking ever, man. It's so fucking good. <clears throat> and the fact that it's from a fashion designer. <sighs> yeah. And I'm so fashion. sorry to interrupt again. But. No, no, no. You fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, it's just so And I won't interrupt good. anymore. Okay. Good. That's cool. Go ahead, though. Um, the acting, the performance. Can you, dude, the acting can is you so good. name a nocturnal animal for the podcast? A bat. All right, that's one. What about Chris? A possum. All right, that checks out. A raccoon. There you go. Can you? I was going to say a raccoon. Get fucked. It's a raccoon. Um, a raccoon. <laughs> anyways, uh, it's really good. Please check it out. Michael Shannon it should have won every supporting actor. Oh, my God. I forgot how good he was in that. He's so fucking good as like the detective sheriff <sighs> He's guy. He's always exactly that. Yeah. But it's perfect. But like that role was like specifically made for Michael Shannon, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah. It, like it is literally tailored to him and like even the fashion throughout like he's a, he's an old detective but like the clothes as he uh he's sick but like the clothes are like draping off of him but in like cool way because it's a fucking fashion design it's like a fashionable it. decrepit dying thing yeah he, he's <laughs> like almost like a, a, a small true detective subplot within that movie dude if there, he, was, if there was if there was a true like de- a true detective recasting in the discord and I said Michael Shannon oh, and yeah. Stephen Yoon. Mm. So that would have been. Hard. Have you seen Nocturnal Animals? Of course I have. I've seen it even more times than Arrival. He saw it with us. That okay. Name one nocturnal animal. Uh. uh Can't say what we said. Um, Looking around the room for answers, as if there would be a nocturnal animal in my house. <laughs> a green knight. Nope. No. A green. Um, you didn't go to film school. Confirmed yet again. Octopus. Big dummy dumb shit confirmed again. Old. Who's the <laughs> shithead now? <laughs> Shitty witty boy. Uh, uh, anyways, it's great. Please check it out. Um, I have it on Blu-ray, so I don't know where to watch it. But yeah, it's out there. Maybe Amazon Prime. Maybe. Just a Blu-ray, it, not it, a steelbook? Or? There isn't a steelbook. I checked like yesterday. I just bought the movie as well. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. That's funny. It's in the mail. V good. V good. Yeah, I believe it's on Netflix. <clears throat> it, if, it, if it isn't right now, it definitely was. Yeah. So find it how about you fucking find it fucking figure it out you piece of shit yeah stupid ass listeners it wasn't where you said it was now i'm never gonna watch Uh, it that's them fucking listening to our show fucking idiot then they shove a 12 inch subway sandwich down their gullet and then they throw it up and then they go "Uh," and they eat it again yep like an alcoholic sounds just like our listeners yeah but if you need any help navigating streaming services just tag alex gang in the discord and he can 
absolutely help you press his play. recommendations oddly all of his recommendations are <laughs> apple tv um yeah he's a huge fan of apple tv but <laughs> also yesterday watched uh the fifth element dude yeah. Yeah. Ooh. oh wait you know what we should stop going yeah when we agree with something that's cool yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because, because someone stitched us and said yeah <laughs> a man that drinks Ooh. monster coffee to rehydrate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh yeah the fifth element starring bruce willie uh, <laughs> me out, but say yeah again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fucking good. Still, it I holds up. Love that movie, Chris dude. Tucker. It's so fun. Chris Tucker. Yes, Gary dude. Oldman. Gary, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. And it's also one of those movies. Mila Jovovich. Yeah, it's, dude, Mila Jovovich, fucking classic in that movie. Great actress. Great, dude. Especially. Ian Holm, man. Yeah. Fuck, as the priest. Come on, dude. But it's one of those movies where the antagonist and protagonist never actually meet, and I love that. Never meet. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? I need to rewatch that, man. It it's is, been so long. It is a feast for the eyes, dude. Like, there is so much production design and detail in this fucking movie. Like, the creatures. And, like, no context for almost anything. Yeah, it's just, it's like... just alien shit. We're just in 20... or Yeah, we're That's fucking, like, 300 years into the future. It's fucking fascinating. It's almost uh, as if it's the real crimes of the future, you might say. Oh, fuck, dude. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. We're cinephiles. That's obvious. It was pretty good, though, huh? Element, yeah, dude. Where'd you see it? Luc Bethon, right? Huh? Who? Directed by Luc Bethon. And you're saying that, right? Right. That's the director, right? Sure. Alexa, who directed The Fifth Element? Luke Besson. Luke Besson directed The Fifth Element. Mm, nah. That's not. How She's you not French say. though. So again, you can't pronounce Luke a director. Bethon. She's not French though. You know what I mean? Oh, so you're French. French. Oui. <laughs> shit we shit you got us there you got us there how Spelled? do you say omelet omelet du, du. fromage 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 and you nailed that so so what's an entree entree whores duvers <laughs> oh, du. Is perfect. This is the worst thing we've ever done on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All Fr- like, like we have any French listeners. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. Idiot. Okay. Be- fuck them. Hey, how about don't be from France, dude? Oh, get decimated. Get oh. fucked. Third largest Western country. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyways, Fifth Element is <clears throat> super fucking neat. Production design. The fucking, the actual, the scene with the elements where they have to like... At air, elements. water, fire, fucking amazing, dude! It, and it still looks incredible to to this day. Practical effects, BB. Practical effects plus CGI, dude. That's how you do it. You marry the two, man. You can't just do Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't just fortify your mind. Fortify your mind. Fortify your mind. Fortify your mind. <laughs> I'm glad you guys finally saw that because it's so just bad. Just that one part is. And the best part is that's the best take. Yeah. First of all, the fact that it's written. The fact that he's like scrambling around and everyone else is like. Yeah. yeah. Me, me, like, me, 45, me. your mind. <laughs> so fucking funny. I'm so glad that you guys understood. Like, that's when I walked out. Yeah. That part. That's when you absolutely house your Dr. Pepper <laughs> and, s- <laughs> and skipped out of there. Dude. Because you keep it in an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just <laughs> I just crushed it with force, dude. Yeah. And it was a plastic cup, too. Fuck. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so fucking bad. Anyways, uh, the last thing on my watch list is Burnt, starring Bradley yeah. motherfucking Cooper. And we watched this together. We watched this together, and I've told Chris about this movie for the last three years, probably. And you know maybe what, more. And you know what stopped me from watching it? Go ahead. Bradley that Cooper. Shitty fucking cover art, dude. It's uh, it bad. looks like a fucking how to lose a guy in 10 days it cover art. A it's, fool's gold. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, look at all these people in it. It's like arms crossed. Like, I'm a yeah. chef. I'm a chef. Like, I, I saw that and I was like, this is what you want me to watch? Yes. Like, like and I, I made the point when we were watching. It, I was like, this is so the dis- the difference between the movie and the cover art is so disparaging that I'm offended. Yeah. That Like, I was like the cover art. I was like, should be a knife on the table with a cigarette or something. Sure. Something that represents kitchens. Something, kitchens, hard edges, just being hard as shit, being a chef, being a badass, being arrogant. Yeah. Something like, 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 but then you're like, no, dude, they have to sell it. They have to show every fucking actor. They got to have Bradley Cooper on the cover. They have to have the fucking Star Wars painted cover with, Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so they and so I was like, fuck. And but damn it, I ordered that movie the next day. That's four three. Did you really? Yeah. Shit. Fuck yeah. I liked that a lot. You know what hammered it home for me? Go ahead. And this sounds arrogant, but <clears throat> he goes when he's recruiting a chef and he's like you want to work for me? You want to work for me for free? He's like, uh, uh, and then he's like, you want to pay me? How about you pay me to work? How much would you pay me to work for me? Yeah. And then he's like, uh, he's just stammering. He's like, dude, you're good, but you're not arrogant enough. My kitchen needs to be arrogant. He's like, you need to be cocky. You need to be confident and like, like stick up for yourself. And I was just like, damn, like, yeah, like that's, that was just one of those moments where it was like, yeah, arrogance is not the look, but it's the ego of a chef. Fuck, it yeah. has it has a use sometimes, like yeah. in like in the in context. Mm-hmm. No, dude, absolutely. And you have to be confident, so confident you're undeniable. To, yeah. You have to protrude that. And I know you're reading Kitchen Confidential right now, so I like am, yeah. I'm on a chef kick right now, the, dude. If you are into the the world of chefs and cooking, and you're a foodie, if you identify as that at all, you need to fucking watch this movie. I highly recommend this. Obviously, the movie Chef, which is a Have lot you seen more widely yet? known. Uh, it's yeah, so good. dude, it's so fucking But good. you've said Burnt is better than Chef. Burnt is way better than Chef. Well, I mean, not then way I'm better. Good. It's still really good. Dude, Chef is great. All right. But I'm saying Burnt is like more like the Kitchen Confidential, like actual kitchen like, shit. You know what I mean? Not to be confused with Kitchen Confidential starring Bradley Cooper, right? Exactly. He was in a movie. Never heard of it. Starring as Anthony Bourdain, but it was like a made for TV movie. Oh, like never even heard based of it. on the book. A long time ago. <laughs> it's dog shit. Uh it looks really bad. But uh, you this haven't mo- seen it? No. This movie is really fucking good, man. It is really good. Bradley Cooper, uh Alicia Vikander's in it. Yeah. yeah. Um fuck. Daniel Bruhl from Inglorious Bastards. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh from Bruhl's Rules. From Bruhl's Rules. <laughs> uh who else is in this fucking movie, dude? Um, sell it, sell it, sell it. People need to watch this fucking fuck, movie. I don't know. Where did we watch? Oh, I had a Blu-ray. The, oh, I own the Blu-ray. Um, but I mean, fucking find this movie. It's, yeah, it's it's great. like a ten out of ten. Like one of those for me. That's like the most rewatchable movies ever, dude. Like Spotlight, like Silence of the Lambs. Like I could watch it over and over and over again. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, it, dude. But, anything in a kitchen like that, where it's like mm. captures like the fucking the real world yeah. of like, cooking. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking incredible. Also, uh, The Big <clears throat> Night, same thing, starring Stanley Tucci. Oh, yeah. I watched that uh, Il Timpano scene on YouTube <sighs> with you, like, oh, uh, dude. So fucking good. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Chef was was amazing. Chris, I'm glad you liked it. Uh, it's 4-3 as fuck, dude. It's worth owning, for sure. Yeah. You said you said Chef, but you meant Burnt, right? Burnt. Yes, burnt, burnt. Burnt. Check it out. Starring Bradley Coopies. Coopies. All right. That's it for me. Bradley Coopies. Shall we get into Crimes of the Fuchies? Crimes of the Future, Directed by Davy Cronies. Daddy Cronenberg. Are you good? Sorry, there's a gigantic fly. I just landed on your wall. I was just looking at it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Crimes of the Future. Yeah. We saw this, what, three weeks ago? Yeah, a long time ago. It's been a minute, dude. And you, But at least it's fresh on your mind. Yeah, I watched it last night. So what are <clears throat> your first impressions? We've had some time to sit with it. What are your first impressions of... Uh, um. Crimes okay, I haven't seen the original Crimes of the Future. Doesn't really matter. Does it has nothing to do with this. Okay. Um very clearly visionary, cool art style, cool world building they did. Not quite my thing. I What didn't do it for you? The overall kind of just the story itself. I just wasn't feeling it. Um So for the folks at home, what's the story? There is Okay, so we're at a point in humanity where we as humans have essentially evolved to not feel pain and produce these new organs in our bodies that may or may not have functions. Mm -hmm. And the removal of those organs and identifying of them is considered an art. Well, by, by, by particular sects of, yes. Yeah. By the characters in the movie, Yeah, by other characters in the movie, it's considered, like, sacrilege yeah like yeah. oh they're like you can't be adapting or uh what's the word anamorphing you know <laughs> <Whatever> <laughs> the fuck they're doing you're fucking with evolution at that point yeah that's yeah. what they said like like it's weird like they there's does the government want to prevent new organs i think they just want them to be registered so that they can catalog what is going on with the human body yeah i guess now 
I was a big fan of like the world that they built. Like I thought that was very interesting. I it thought so cool. too. Yeah. The story itself, though, fucking snoozy boys. Yeah. A little bit. A little. I bit. genuinely had to fight not to sleep watching this. It was it was a vessel for body horror. <laughs> yes. Which is what because like, he's like, the, he's the master of body horror. Yeah, arguably. I mean, not arguably. You could argue he is. It. He is. <laughs> I mean, that's what they call him. But yeah. um, he calls the, it, he calls the it king. Bo- he calls it body beauty. By the way, mm-hmm. that's exactly what he would say. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Fucking. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's what he said after he said it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, actually, he actually himself. Yeah. Uh, all right. As far as body horror goes, I feel like Men was more of a body horror. Yeah, dude. Men was traumatic. Yeah. Th- honestly, most of the stuff was in the trailer of this movie. Yeah. Unfortunately. Didn't even see that. I like, get it, was, though. You have to sell it. Yeah, there was a few more parts in the... Uh, I thought the ear guy was going to be more of a a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, I bet when more someone of those things says... Cool. I bet when he's around someone that's like, hey, I need to talk to you about something, he goes, I'm all ears. <laughs> <laughs> I was, that would have been great if that line was actually in there. <laughs> I'm all ears. Um, but yeah, the uh, most of the stuff that was really cringy and body horror was in the trailer. They, you know, there was more of it, but like I, it had such a uh, the trailer made it. If if there was that much in the trailer, you're like, oh fuck, this must be a fucking. And they were talking crazy. about people walking out after five Which minutes. Is bullshit. Yeah, there was yeah. people at Can that said it didn't happen. Mm. They were like, <laughs> they, they said it was a marketing thing. Like like they said more people walked out of. Uh, there was just some other movie that was just bad narrative pacing. It wasn't mm. even shocking. They said multiple like half the theater walks out of like some other just drama more than Cronenberg's body horror thing. Wow. It's just a fucking spin on marketing thing. Of yeah. course it is. It's like the mass walkouts. People like, are going to be so angry. People are shitting out their mouths. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like It's not no. a lie that some people walked out of a movie at Cannes. Yeah. And that this movie premiered at Cannes. Yeah. Well, when in fact like one. watching this it's like was there anything to really walk out about uh, aside from it from boredom? I mean there's a dead boy's dick. There's that. Yeah, that uh, was that was that was awk. A bit jarring yeah that the 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 intro of this movie was the prologue uh was actually pretty interesting oh yeah yeah i like that this kid's eating trash i better smother him in his sleep yeah Yeah. which is like what any parent would do why didn't the kid eat through the pillow though good point solid point maybe his baby teeth couldn't just eat through the pillow dude it's all squishy you can't bite it yeah Ah, okay and that's obvious but uh what's interesting about that as some of the aspects of this script he wrote this 50 years ago he said he didn't change a word and the fact that like there's microplastics and plastics and everybody's worried about that now and then also the body adapting and changing and uh, surgeries and stuff like that is like he has said himself is now he's like well i didn't anticipate this revolution of transgender and body you know changes in in our current culture but throughout like he wrote that 50 years ago and the message is now even more relevant where now things are changing and the government's like, you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Let's le- legislation and all that stuff, which is interesting to think about it from through that lens. Yeah. But I mean, it kind of does feel like a movie from the seventies or eighties, but with like modern effects and camera work and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but that's weird because the one from the seventies that he did apparently has a different plot. Weird. I didn't it's see a cool it. title. Did you guys see it? No. Okay. Well, I'm glad we're all in solidarity and being a shit podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a shit movie podcast that doesn't do the research. I don't want to watch some old fucking movie. Yeah, that shit's dumb. From the make 1972 a... before movies had sound. God, hey, make a new movie. Imagine releasing a movie earlier. Before we existed. Stupid. That's so dumb. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird that he <clears throat> named it the same thing, but he did. I get it. It's, it's a cool title. It, it is a cool title, but were there really crimes besides the opening murder of the child? The re- the rest it's, of it was I mean, just it's, like... Surgery. It's all perspective, I guess, because like, if you're a person that opposes what they do, you could call that a crime, you know, like a crime against humanity, crimes of the future, you know what I mean? I guess so. I, I don't know. It, it just feels like a cool title. He's like, yeah. this is what I call it. Yeah. As opposed to fucking Body Holes, the movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Holes. Uh, holes. Holes um, too. <laughs> uh... Performances, real quick. 
Yeah. Vigo Mortensen doing his best Batman voice. Yeah. He was great, I thought. Vigo was good as the Sith Lord. It was really artist. uncomfortable when he was doing like all his of the <laughs> like the eating and stuff in the fucking bone chair. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. in the fucking boosty chair for babies. Yeah. And he's like, gah, 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 gah. Yeah. made of bones, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's like, hey, this chair will help you digest. And it's literally just like a sharper image rocking chair. <laughs> yeah. like, do, 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 shaking you. God. It's a 4D cinema yeah, chair. He's, <laughs> he's in the Men in Black Universal Studios ride. Yeah. He's going, gah, gah, gah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And But like, it was so uncomfortable, like the ASMR of it, of like him trying to like yeah. Just swallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, I mean, when your life is that shit, I mean, you know, I'm not going to condone anything, but like, why go on? You know, you're saying for the art. he should have killed himself. No, oh, okay, of course not. Just but for the why art. go on? Go on what? Doing anything? He had he had the chair to help him digest and eat. Oh, he had the eating chair. Yeah, it, it, that it, it rocks just, you to hell and back while yeah. you gag on peas. <laughs> 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 I wonder if the chair had a voice box. It would have been oh like bone chairs ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm calling it bone chair. That's yeah. what, what exactly and it what it looks canonically like. has Macho Man Randy Savage's voice. Yeah, yeah of course. Of course. Uh, Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah. You get the food. Fucking bone chair ready. <laughs> Fucking, you know what I mean? He just has that, the little fingers, you know yeah. what I mean? He's like, oh, I'll help you digest. <laughs> Get some cooking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my impression. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. <laughs> Never do a slim gym. Yeah. <laughs> uh that shot showing him in that bed that's supposed to like neutralize pain and yeah. stuff. That was a really cool shot. How yeah, it was that was just cool. like down the hall in the weird like organic looking bed thing. Yeah. Right. There's there's definitely like you pause this movie and there's like some next level like dystopian futuristic art that are really fun to like just to, as frames yeah. they look better almost than like yeah the whole yeah. movie is that makes sense so what dude yeah where you look like you really <laughs> wanted to say something no i'm still laughing at bone chairs right? i'm still <laughs> laughing at my own joke yeah. um, i'm such a genius <laughs> no, no, i just i don't want to hear it remember yeah. earlier when i said that <laughs> um, uh, but funny josh show it was funny today <laughs> Just joshing with Josh Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you're really joshing around today. Um, performances, though. No, Josh. Sorry. Performances. Vigo. Kristen it. Stewart was my favorite. Hands Here's the down. thing. That performance has already been done with by Joan Cusack in School of Rock. Uh, she is exactly that character. You think so? Yes. It could Rewatch easily been School of Rock. Joan Cusack? Superimpose her. Over Kristen Stewart, she's like, "Hey, um, the thing about uh, these bodies is, uh, mm, uh. dude, I yeah. remember watching School of Rock for the first time and I saw Joan Cusack come up, but I didn't read it all the way. So the entire movie I was like, where the fuck is John Cusack? <laughs> <laughs> it's random. Yeah. Um, dude, I loved Kristen Stewart in this movie. I feel like she was the only one. Like, if everyone was like as committed as she was, I thought it would have been a way better movie. She was I, fucking great. I thought, um." Uh, the 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 other woman, the Leia Sadu. Leia Sadu. Holy shit! Great actress. She's a great actress. She's a and great the, actress. But I didn't like her performance in this. I thought it was good. I just didn't like the character really. Yeah, yeah. yeah it wasn't a strong character. She didn't have a whole lot to do. The yeah. cool thing about a David Cronenberg bo- 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 movie, a David Cronenberg boobie, is what you were about yeah, to say. Yeah, is that when you see a woman on screen and you go, oh that actress is in this I wonder what she looks like naked you will see that in about 12 seconds that's true <laughs> that's true shout out to Dave. I mean, except for is, Kristen Stewart yeah except for Kristen Stewart god damn it but there was that part where those like the technicians for the life form core company like yeah. they were just like how do we look and I was like why was this in the movie yeah that was weird they, they just yeah. got on the very table very 70s and 80s and and then and then like um, Leigh Sidhu's character was just like like, ah, oh, you guys. <laughs> you silly bitches. That's normal. Yeah, yeah. That's normal for the, li- like, basically the, the geek squad of <laughs> to come into your house and get naked on Fuck your table. Squad. Yeah. They, they literally were for that company. Like, yeah, whenever right, the right. fucking operating table was like, yeah, geek squad's here. We're going to get naked and lay on the table. And well, we got to see how it works. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, oh, they were so goofy. I was like, okay. You can't just not get into the bone bed, dude. Yeah. I guess so. 
I like how when people saw the bone bed, people just literally got horny. Oh, yeah. fuck. They're yeah. Like, oh, fuck. It's the bone bed. Just uncontrollably horny. Yeah. They just immediately were like, hey, do you want to cut me the fuck open? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I fuck this bed? Yeah. With a scalpel? But I, mm. dude, seriously, I thought Kristen Stewart was amazing in this. Yeah, she I, was great. She was the most entertaining. I'll say yeah, that. That's yeah. good. But like, when you didn't like her very much, I didn't. I didn't think she did the weird person very well. Really, I there think- were times when I liked it, but most of the time I was like, mm, not for me. I like her over enunciating. Yes, I don't know. It was very satisfying. Very type A, but still like intrigued by like this new lifestyle that she's seeing. Like, mm-hmm. it, was, it was good. I think she right. she went for it, and I like she that. did. She did. That's fair. She didn't fucking dial it in. She yeah. was interesting. I'll give yeah. it that. But it wasn't like that. Scott Speedman? What the fuck? Like, I was just like, whatever, Was dude. he the guy that worked with her? The dad. The dad of the, oh, yeah. the dead kid. Yeah. Eating a big fucking fruit roll-up the yeah. whole movie. I make plastic fruit roll-ups. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Dumb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, like, I... Uh, okay, purple bars. That, that part where the other guy in the club eats the purple bar and yeah. immediately dies. Just murder. So dies. I'm just I was just sort of confused. I mean not confused by like that he died, but the fact that like they were eye fucking each other, I guess, and then like he ate it. Yeah, like, I don't know I don't, why he gave him yeah. the bar. He he was like I don't know why he did <clears throat> give him it was a straight up murder because he knows people can't right. ingest digest it. it. Yeah, exactly. Um I don't know. Those I, don't know. I feel like David Cronenberg has this character, a Willy Wonka like character, if you will, if you will, a Snowpiercer Willy Wonka. Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like he just makes him just a dad, just a dad guy. I'm dead. Yeah, like make him fucking weird. Like he this movie's weird. nah. He was weird at the beginning when there was a more sinister undertone to what his character may be. Yeah, like he seemed like an antagonist that like followed him and stuff. Yeah, I but like, then I they like meet that. and he's like, "Hey, I got these plastics." <laughs> Um, you yeah. want to eat them? Yeah. Like I want I wanted everyone to be as weird as Kristen Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like just fucking go for just it. Just a Yorgos yeah. Lanthimos movie. Yes, dude. <laughs> yeah. Give give me, dude. Yeah. He's they started that way and but like you said, once his character got developed, like once he it was revealed he wasn't like this like He was just more normal. Yeah. Yeah, just a guy. He started really weird like cutting people in the alleys and like eating his bars and just, then like following Yeah. Vigo, but then yeah, he just got normal. He might as well be named Guy Feller, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, dude, the music hit really hard in this it movie. Did. I the thought. music was sick. The music is really good. Uh, do we know the composer's name? Alexa, who composed the movie Crimes of the Future? The music in Crimes of the Future was composed by Howard Shore. Howard Shore. Boom. Cool. So yes, to answer your question, we do know. Okay, good. And it's Howard Shore. That was worth it. Yeah. Um, he killed it. It yeah. was. I liked his uh, electronic, like during the performance scenes, I really liked that, like, Deep fucking club vampire. It, it felt vibe. like a like a PS one game boss music or something. Yeah, like that. yeah you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, that was fun. I just felt like this movie was incredibly anticlimactic, dude. I agree a bit. Yeah, I agree with that. Ending came at a left field. There's no actual resolution, which is like I love an ambiguous ending, but like this wasn't even that. It was just like, oh, it's over now. Yeah, I guess it's just meant to establish that like the like this is human evolution now. And it's sort of like at the will of whoever is developing the organs. Is that it? In a way, I suppose. Yeah. Because part of the question and like the whole narrative of the movie is, is Viggo Mortensen's character willing these new organs into existence? Or right. do they just happen? That's part of it. Yeah. But um, it's also, there's two endings, basically. There's Vigo's ending which is like, oh, I'm starting to eat these plastic bars and I can actually ingest this. I'm and a I, new human. And I'm not going to fight this. I am this. what they want. Like, I am the fucking... Um, the next step in evolution. The next step yeah. in evolution, yeah. Right. So, but then the other one is they cut open, they do the autopsy on the dead kid finally, revealing tattooed organs. Yes. Which is... I know, was confusing. I didn't understand yeah, the tattooed I organs. As fuck. I was like, did this kid get captured by the government? And then they tattooed his organs or i what think the fuck? i think i don't think they did surgery and tattooed his organs and did anything i think somehow what the tattoos and the new organs inside are implying is that 
he's also the next step in evolution. Like they naturally appeared that way because of his father's tattoos. Yeah, they're a visual cue or visual metaphor to illustrate how the poison or the the new the new organs are infecting our youth now, whether it's microplastics or what. Mm. Okay. what what's weird is the Vigo's ending and the boy's ending contradict each other right. because the boy's ending is like, oh my God, isn't this horrific? We found these new organs that now we're adapting to eat plastic. Isn't this awful? Look, we're poisoning our youth from the inside out. Right. That was the metaphor in her performance. But then Vigo's like, oh, okay. Thank God I'm a plastic person now. Right. So I'm like, wait, so which is it? Are we are we adapting and it's good? Or is it like, is that the, the double I meaning ending? I think it may ending? be just offering both perspectives. So so you can see that like the people in that world would be offered both perspectives as well. Maybe maybe it's like Vigo wants to be human and eat normal stuff. Is your ear fucked up? No. Oh, mine is. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. It's probably... Goddamn. Goddamn. Your, your foot's on the table. Goddamn oh, electronics. Shit. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry. Um. So yeah, the it 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 could be both sides of it. Both. It could be Vigo going, or oh. he's just the, the next step of evolution, and then everyone else is left behind. You know. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, there, there was that kid, and then you know. But it was just kind of like a. Uh, yeah, it it's was kind of petered out. Yeah, you know. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. A little soft landing on that one. And I was I was pretty fucking bored. I was I was it, I was excited to see this film, and then it just didn't meet any of that. Yeah, it didn't. Um, but uh, again, I slow. I think I just prefer the more realistic side of the Cronenberg movies. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Eastern Promises is a fucking solid, a more grounded, amazing. realistic. It's amazing. Yeah. It's like it, it's just so crazy to me mm-hmm. that these are two different, or this is the same director. Agreed. When they feel entirely different, but like a history of violence as well is fucking awesome, and it's rooted in uh, reality versus uh, this is which is more futuristic. And yeah. I did enjoy Videodrome like more than this, I would say, but like yeah. it was, it felt more abstract. I don't know. Like Videodrome just felt more uh, entertaining, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. Well, I think we both expected the same thing going in where it's like crimes of the future, fucking body horror, Cronenberg's back. Thriller. First, thriller. First movie feature film in eight years. The, yeah. The bastard body horror, all that shit, right? And then it's we got this like thrill, sort of slow burn thriller where most of the body horrors in the trailer. What I wanted was just all kinds of fucking crazy surgeries, crazy alien tech i I thought it was gonna be like futuristic alien shit and then i also thought like we'd get more of the ear guys more performances more dark underworlds yeah Yeah. surgeries back alley surgeries which is like we got some of that but like we got a pretty a to b narrative i would say it was like 50 50 of like body horror and the rest of the plot but what we wanted, I think, was just fucking go in on the body. Yeah, yeah dude, go I was nuts. And like, even based on the the poster, the first one, which I thought was fucking great, when it looks like Leia Sadu was more of like an android mm-hmm. woman oh, yeah. or whatever. I was like, this looks fucking amazing. I love this, and I was like expecting more of like a fucking annihilation meets ex machina porno basically yeah. yeah i was like let's fucking go dude you like know what i mean kristen stewart saying surgery is the new sex in the trailer yeah and you're just like they're gonna be cutting each other for 90 minutes yes yeah is what we thought man. i was fucking like mm. oh i was jacked up and then you were like, jacking off in the theater yeah well sorry maybe don't they let you tell do that. that okay we so went together so you wear a big coat yeah we get the large popcorn yeah. You do that thing where you put your sleeves together and then put one arm out and then you like take that and then you like, so it looks like you're not even. Why do you know that? Because we all it's do that. An oddly specific way. Everyone does that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, We're a movie podcast, film school. It, but but yeah, ultimately it was just like really droll and yeah. fucking. Yeah. I was falling asleep. I had to like fight to stay awake. Yeah. What, time did, you, what time did you start it? Uh, eight. Okay, that's actually moderate. that's not bad. Yeah. yeah, that's really not bad. I, I wanted you to be like eleven thirty, and I'd be like, "You idiot!" Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Um, it, did you know Natalie Portman was almost in this movie? Kristen Stewart replaced her. Shit. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it worked out the way it is. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, uh, I can't see Natalie Portman because in this. Natalie Portman is now Thor, and that's going to be great. What? Isn't she like the new Thor? Yeah. Oh, Thor. Yeah, yeah. Who gives a fuck? Um, was in film was filmed a entire- lot of people. <laughs> I saw that trailer and I literally just went, "Oh, like yeah." Someone's oh, someone else called the hammer. 
<laughs> fucking, I don't care. Yeah. Was yeah. I'm literally only going to see Christian Bale as gore. Yeah, he's going to be Yeah. Good. I'm going to wait for it to hit Disney Plus, much like I'm going to do. I'm probably going to watch Doctor Strange later. Yeah. Because it's on Disney Plus now. Yeah. Vigo Mortensen suffered. 45 your mind. <laughs> you're going to you 45 like your mind tonight? Yeah. Um, Vigo Mortensen suffered quad trauma when he was struck by a non participating horse at the American Kentucky Derby before production of this movie. So he couldn't stand for longer than like two minutes. Jesus. So if you notice, he kneels a lot in this movie. That's why. Oh, wow. He got kicked by a fucking horse. (laughs) Basically, yeah. God, he's had a lot of foot horror. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Breaking his foot in Lord of the Rings. An unknown fact. Thank you. Yeah, no one knows it. Did you know? God, that (laughs) fucking guy. The helmet. That fucking guy. Some dude on TikTok or something? That guy. Oh, the guy. The. The mustache man. Did Uh, you know? No. Yeah, actually, we did. Did. Um, Everyone knows that one particular hey, fact. Everyone going forward, comment did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, did. What else we got? Blah, 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 blah. Here's a preview of that else. guy responding to what you just said. I'm going to take the high road. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know what? You're taking the high road when you establish verbally that you're taking the high road. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> like I did earlier. <laughs> Oops. Are, anything else on uh, Crimes of the Fugees? No. Nay. It was fine. Music was good. Body horror was good, but uh, yeah. kind of a meh out of 10. Cool concepts. Concepts better than the execution, I think. The world, like, the, the world, world was potential. way more interesting yeah, than the this HR movie. Geiger y design, uh, the bed, and all that stuff. I it had so it. much potential. Yeah. I wanted them to explore the underground more. I want a movie on the bone chair. That's all I want to say. Bone chair. Bone chair is rigged. It's just a big bone. Yeah. But it is cinema with Marty's Garnies. Martin Scorsese, I mean. My disguise. My disguise. The last temptation of the Cantamonic Thief. We must determine. We must determine whether or not Crimes of the Fugees was cinema. And it is a simple yes or no. Is it or is it not? I'll go first. No. Whoa. Whoa. Not even cinema. Not cinema. Surprise. For me. Very boring. We'll never watch again. Alex? It's cinema, I think. Ah. I will say it's cinema as well. Ah. I enjoyed it, but it's not. But ultimately. Definitely not 4 3, though. No. That's obvious. Where's my fart sound? <laughs> that, that's a, that's a real thing we say on this podcast. There we go. I like that that's a real thing that had to we be said. Ah. Where's my fart sound? It's not cinema. Ultimately, well, yeah, not for you. I I like. Well, it, it won't be in the next round of. Is it? It's not four three. Is what you're saying, right? By virtue did. of the way we do things, it isn't cinema because forty three us... your minds, dude. <laughs> four, th- four three your minds. Four three your minds. It's not four three. Okay. Um, it was just it, I I just didn't like it. Just flat out did not like it. Yeah, I like Kristen Stewart. That was about it. Word. <clears throat> Dumb movie title. Oh, right. What's the DMT for Crimes of the Future? Um, I got to think about this one. I'll go first. Nip, tuck, fuck. Nice. Oh, man. Or just nip, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, but that just sounds... I almost wrote that down, but then you're just saying nip, fuck. What about tuck, fuck? Tuck, fuck? That rhymes. Nip, tuck, fuck. Nip, dash, tuck, or slash. Yeah. All right. What about tuck, fucker? John nah. John Tuckfucker must die. <laughs> That's <laughs> smart not. movie. Yeah, sure. Uh, Crimes of the Futures would be mine. Also, um, you don't have another Go one. Go on. I don't have another one. God damn it. Uh, strip and tear. That's pretty good. It's like rip and tear. And cut me open, daddy. That's all I have. Okay. This was not conducive to. Not a, a great. Uh, I feel like it. Has oh. Surgery, surgery is the new cinema. Uh, uh, and you just came up with that DMT? Just right now. No, I did earlier, though, when oh, I came okay. up with it. So, I still mm. prefer cinema as a new sex, but no. You're like, I already wrote this big cinema in block letters. Yeah. So. In surgery. third grade block letters. Yeah. Surgery is the new cinema. Remember when you used to do that? Nope. They wouldn't let me draw. All right. All Why? Because I only ever drew Godzilla. And they were like, don't let him up there. He's going to draw Godzilla again. <laughs> 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 that's perfect. All right. All right. That's it. Damn, I really want the episode to be called Cinema's a New Sex now, but it's not going to. Fuck it. 
fuck it. Nip tuck fuck. Nip tuck fuck it. <laughs> Nip tuck fuck. John yeah. Tucker fuck it. Just All do right. John Tucker next week. No. Nah. It's a good movie. It's a good How movie. No? How about we do budget for this movie? What was the budget for fuck. Crimes of the Future? Alex, kick us off as the economist, Thank entrepreneur, you. I write strong for person. the economist. Yeah. Strong, tall, young, fast, best skin. Yeah. Um, I'll go $28 million. It's a solid guess. Thanks. I knew it was a solid guess. Didn't have to have you tell me that. I'm only going to do $21 million. Piece of shit. I'll do 25 right in the middle. Alexa, what was the budget for the movie Crimes of the Future? 2022. Here's something I found on the web. According to OrlandoSentinel.com, Crimes of the Future, $1.1 million. False. No, that's probably box office. No, the, uh, so I'm right. So Okay. All right. Congratulations to me. Thirty-five million. Damn. So jo- uh, Alex it appears wins. I'm the winner. That's way too much fucking money. For That's a little bit of money. That's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Yeah. So you mean a lot? It's like you? a small chunk of change. Thirty-five oh, okay. mil. All right. Yeah. Why do our mics look like this then? If thirty-five million dollars is just nothing to you, I'm a humble person. Uh, anything your else? iPhone you know 6S. I just did ju- fucking. I, I found the budget. <laughs> yeah, fucking Chris Evans. Oh, we got to redo the show. Is it just? Yeah, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I almost <laughs> made this joke. I almost said, "Is it just fucking a picture of boobs?" And it, and it fucking is. <laughs> of course not. I'm a professional adult. All right. So <sighs> what's the what what next? We're gonna do actor game. Actor game with Vigo. I guess. Fuck. Oh wait, you you won. I did. Go ahead. I did win. <laughs> Thank you for remembering. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Crimes of the future. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a full-on seizure. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings. Um, Easter Promises. Green Book. A History of Violence. Uh, the Road. Oh, nice. That's a great movie. I need to and re- book. <clears throat> book. Yeah. And book. <clears throat> Vigo Mortensen. Vigo. Viggy's Mortys. Mortensen. Vigo's Morts. Road to Perdition? Mm. Seen that? I don't think he was in that. If you're thinking of Thomas Hanks. <laughs> He's the same guy. Close, yeah. Really, really similar people. Back the fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Vigo Mortensen. So I'm out then. Yeah, yeah, you're out. Yeah, yeah. We, I'm we gonna know, Google it to be sure, though. We also know this. Um, hey Alexa, was Viggo Mortensen in Road to Perdition? Oh, shut the fuck up! Okay, She's nice. over there. Alexa, stop! Jesus fucking Christ! What are we waiting to find out? No. Okay. He's not. Alexa, shut up! Sorry. I didn't hear what the fuck she said. It doesn't matter. She just went, hi, big, I go, go back, I go, She said a bunch of wrong shit. Yeah. Uh, Viggo Mortensen, fuck me, dude. You wish. Yeah. Oh, little bitch. That was funny you because I. I said you, that. you wish Viggo would fuck yeah. you. Yeah. Sure. He's a promise. <laughs> sure. Time. Just completely. Just, yeah. Sure. Fuck. I don't know. I'm out. Wow. Um, I, I don't have any more either. All right, Kristen Stewart. Oh, fuck. All right. Who, you want me to start or you or it ended on you or you right it ended on me I couldn't think of one okay it neither could I but whatever uh crimes of the future twilight underwater mm. Mm. Kristen Stewart was in Spencer one of my favorite movies ever oh, shit Spencies Kristen Stewart of twilight fame Charlie's Angels Mm. Oh, I don't even know she was in that. Uh, she was one of Charlie's Angels. In the new Charlie's Angels? Yeah. I forgot they even made that. Yeah. Kristen Stewart. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus? <laughs> no. No. All right. Panic Room. Oh, fuck. fuck. You're right. Motherfucker. Yeah, I'm out. You're like, I knew this would get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more. 
Uh, Kristen Stewart, which is Panic Room, by the way, a great thriller. Probably it's one of the a best. Fine one of the thriller. best thrillers. It's a fine thriller, not one of the best. Personal Shopper. Yeah. Thanks. Good job. Me. All right. We genuinely never heard of that movie. Well, maybe because you're not a fan of the Criterion Collection, Alex. Mm, Thank you. You know I am. You know I own a dozen, at least, Criterion. A dozen. A dozen. A a metric dozen. A metric dozen. Or a baker's dozen. And maybe it's possible. Whatever. I'll take a photo when I get home. Cool. Can't I wait want to you see to count it. one fucking dozen Criterion Collection. As soon as you get home, you bitch. I'll count a baker's dozen. Put it in the Discord. Put it in the Discord. Maybe I will. We gotta see your collection. Thank you for listening to There at So Many Movies. Five dollars a month on Patreon if you want to support the show. Um, later, Toads. B. Do you wave? Is that your thing now? Just a waver? Just a wave. That's a good... Oh, fuck. I didn't oh, know. shit. I didn't know he was chilling that That's, hard. My bad, dude. My bad, bro. My bad, dude.